guys, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. Drive. Go, 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 go. Himself a tornado wrangler. If you feel it, chase it! I said, if you feel it, chase it! Alright, here we go. Oh, she's perfect! She's gorgeous! You thought you could destroy a tornado. We never had a chance. You want one? You don't face your fears. You ride them. We got twins! Twins! Is that it? Nope. All right, so we watched... Twisters. All right, so... the Ooh. On the tomato meter, the critics put it at a 76. The audience put it at a 92. What would Robert put it at? <laughs> It was good. So you'd say 92 or 76? It would be 92. All right. So you liked it. Kit Cooper, a former storm chaser, haunted by a devastating encounter with a stormy, or, uh, with a tornado during her college years, who now studies storm patterns on screen safely in New York City. She is lured back to the op open plains by her friend, Javi, to test a groundbreaking new tracking system. There, she crosses paths with Tyler Owens, the charming and reckless social media superstar who thrives on posting his storm-chasing adventures with his uh, raucous crew. The more dangerous, the better. As storm season intensifies, terrifying phenomena never seen before are unleashed, and Kate, Tyler, and their Competing teams find themselves squarely in the path of multiple storms systems converging over central Oklahoma in the fight of their lives. All right, so we were talking about a 72 on the critic thing. So let's talk one of them that put a good review. It's like you're chasing tornadoes from the front seat of a roller coaster. And in a splat... A couple of reasonable expectations that are completely absent, three-dimensional characters, and a sincere appreciation for the landscape and the inhabitants of these small towns. Splash. All right, then another one. It was, okay, that last one was a two out of five. The first one I read was three and a half out of four. Okay. This one I'm going to read is a C plus. I don't say how many stars. Twisters mainly falters in the payoff, overthinking the right move, and creating a series of minor disappointments that that add up. And then the last one I'm going to read, it was a good one. So it's just rated B. I'm a big fan of the 1996 film and have watched it many times. There are a number of references to it in this film, including a cameo by James Paxton. If you, like me, are a fan of the 1996 film, you definitely want to see this one. Audience reviews. Oh, here's a bad one. Uh, two and a half out of five stars. Too much of a parallel to the 1996 movie. The visual effects were good, but didn't have the visceral punch as the original. These actors were not very compelling. They seem too cliche. 
particularly the lead female role like watching a Hallmark movie character. The storyline should have been fresher, not a rehash of the original. Okay. Pretty good movie overall. Oh, this one is a four out of five. Pretty good movie overall with a lot of homages to the original Twister movie. I feel like they really missed a great opportunity with the casting choice of the main character's mother. Yeah, I thought the main character's mother would have been uh, the original Helen Hunt, but... No. All right, so let's talk about who was in the movie since we're going to talk about that. So, Lee Isaac, I, Isaac, Lee Isaac Chung was the director. Glenn Powell was the tornado wrangler. <laughs> Daisy Edgar Jones was the female role. And then let's see, some of the other actors: Mara Tierney, Harry Haddon Paxton, Sasha Lane, Kiernan Shipka. Nick Dodani, David Corin Sweat was all in it. Let's see where. What's a, okay, there we go. What's a producer? Producer, they produced a movie. I'll explain it all afterwards, okay? Okay. The screenwriter was Mark L. Smith. That's the guy who writes the, mov the movie. Okay. The. Director is the guy who follows the script to make sure everything's done right. It's produced by Emlyn Entertainment, Universal Pictures, Warner Brothers Pictures, the Kennedy Marshall Company. It's rated PG-13. Back away from the mic, okay? Thank you. Okay. It's rated PG-13 for intense action and peril, injury images, and some language. It's an action, adventure, mystery, and thriller. It is two hours and two minutes long. And all right, that's it. So the main thing is, I would put it at a ninety-two. Also, if I had to pick one of the two, I liked the movie. Uh, I don't think they followed exactly the original thing that. The, lot, the first one did, you know, they did have to improve on what they did before on the storm tracking thing. So that was kind of the thing that you kind of have to do with this movie, these sequels or whatever, I think. You have to figure out how to get better scientific information. And I think they did great. So... Uh, would you go see it again? Yeah. Like if we, w I said, let's go watch it. You jump yeah. in the car truck. All right. And if you see the right behind me, right here, this is one reason why uh, I've been kind of late. I have, and for the people who can't see, I have a little girl behind me. I had a little girl, and Robert has a sister. Yep. And that's her. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> For the people watching the video, isn't she cute? Yeah. All right. Go sit down over there and play on your phone. I'm going to finish up. All right, so movies are coming out next weekend on Friday, July 26th. Deadpool and Wolverine. Dee Dee? I haven't seen that one. Any trailers on that one? Uh, you alright? Yeah. Uh, and that's all I can find real quick. <laughs> and so, Robert, I'm still doing the podcast. No, go do the memory one, okay? That's all I can find for right now. So, what are we going to go watch next week? Deadpool and Wolverine! So until then, have fun watching the movies.